Okay, just a very quick recording to talk about the synchronization function in Adobe Connect. Normally you move your slides using uh, some buttons down in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, you can move forward slides like this and it will even include any animation that you may have in the slides. Move backwards as well. Okay, now uh, it is when you move your slides like that if you are the presenter or the host of a session those other viewers will see the exact same as you see on the screen in terms of the slides in that main presentation area okay but you can change this so that you can move that each person can move their slides independently and that's what that is done using the sync or synchronization button in the bottom right hand corner of this particular pod. Now if we turn that it goes to light grey. If I move slides now that change in slide will not be seen by others in the uh, virtual room. In fact they will now be able to control those slides themselves. They will have some controlling buttons up here where they can move back or forward by slides. Okay. In addition, they can even put it to play. Now, the reason I'm drawing this to your attention is sometimes as a presenter, you may uh, get a little confused about what buttons are available to you. And maybe you might use this button here as, uh, instead of the normal forward back slides. In which case, the slides start moving automatically. They go into play mode and they give them generally five seconds per slide if you haven't specified it in your PowerPoint. But other than that, they play away themselves. So you can stop them moving by pressing the pause, but probably your best bet is to avoid unsynchronizing slides at all. So always watch out to see that this button down here in the bottom right is in heavy gray. So we'll click it and put it back. Now you're in control of your slides and should be able to uh, impose that control as it were on all other viewers. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.